Chicago's known for having some of the best food in the United States, and the creator of the blog Black People Eats is no stranger to what the city has to offer. Jeremy E. Joyce is here to tell you about the best black-owned restaurants in Chicago and what makes their food so doggone special. You eat a lot. You look great. You stay in the gym, like you said, but you do Thank a lot you. of eating. Yes, I do. Yeah. Love eating. You know, food is a part of our culture. It's who we are as a culture. So, you know, I figured out why not yeah. promote our black-owned food culture to the world. So. You Love said food. seven months you've been doing this, and you've been already over 300 restaurants and, and companies. That's wow. correct. Wow, that's busy. Yeah, it's just really always got to stay with context. You know, you have to be consistent with information. So for me, it's being consistent with restaurants, owners, companies, vendors, etc. So a lot of food. A lot of but food. But you're getting to know people, getting to know the community, places that you've never seen before probably, right? Correct. Like um, Luella's, for example, never knew that was here, you know, Signature Sweet Factory, Baker in my um, local, local neighborhood, mm -hmm. Drink Coffee Pops, Ruve Express, a lot of these vendors all up here, never even knew about, but upon research, end up finding out about them. So how do you do your research? How do you find out about these places? Um, so what I would do is I would say, ooh, I love shrimp. I love <laughs> broiled shrimp. Uh -huh. Best black owned broiled shrimp in the city. Two fish will pop up. So I'll reach out to the owner, Ms. Yasmin, Say, hey, I would love to come out to your restaurant mm -hmm. to review this nice broiled shrimp yeah. with three to Shadway plus jerk. And then <laughs> go set it up. And so that's pretty much how I do my yeah. research. Just yeah. by customer request or just some things I want to see that people should know about. All right, let's jump right into it. Luella's you were telling us about. Now, this is yes. located in Lincoln Square. Tell me what the favorite thing is here. So there are a lot of great things. But for me, this is the brown sugar and bourbon French toast. Wow. This is challah bread, which is a Jewish bread because, you know, it can soak up right. all of the ingredients. And then it has a brown sugar and bourbon syrup, a little bit of salted caramel on top. Mm. And you can tell they're very thick. It so is thick, yes. You don't need no sausages, no bacon. <laughs> you <laughs> you good it. if you eat that by yourself. <laughs> and there's Luella's right there. You see the picture of it. So you can go in there. And you said their fried chicken is phenomenal. The buttermilk fried chicken. Oh. Louisiana hot and regular. <laughs> You won't, I'm telling you, you won't, you won't be disappointed. Won't be disappointed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this I was intrigued by because these are vegan brownies. That's correct. I'm going to try one while you tell me about it. Yes. Yeah, so vegan brownies, um, what we do know is uh, we all like sweets and we want to be eating mm -hmm. those desserts, mm -hmm. but healthy. So I met him, uh, Mr. Marcus, at Legacy Gala Awards and we talked. I did a vegan cleanse because mm -hmm. um, every once a quarter I do vegan. Uh -huh. And he able to make these from scratch. Mm. The rest was history. You get that overlay of vegan chocolate fudge. Oh my God! Coated with it Oreo like cookies. Thing. Yeah, you can't tell. So now you gotta worry about going to the gym after you eat right, the right. sweets. You know? <laughs> That's fabulous. Those are so good. Okay, now this one is very interesting. Yes. So this is uh, Miss uh, Charletta. So these are coffee pops. Mm -hmm. So what she did was she created a unique product. She patented the design and the process. Uh -huh. So it's coffee on a stick. So when you look at this coffee, this naturally flavored caramel macchiato. So you dip it in hot water, and as you stir, it naturally dissolves. It becomes a coffee in the cup. Coffee in a cup. No cream, no sugar, and I don't even drink coffee. Really? And it's everything? And you, dr you like this? I loved it. And you're not a coffee I loved drinker. It, and I'm not even a coffee drinker. Oh my gosh. And I even gave it to coffee drinkers. Uh huh. And phenomenal. Loved it. You don't oh, even look need any sweetener. So this is really huge. She's definitely going somewhere because this is a unique product in itself. Fantastic. Now, if you're into juices and things like that, you found a great one. Yes. So, um, as I was saying earlier, I do like to do juice cleanse. Right. Cleanse. You have so to eating is, like this all the time. Yeah, you have to because you, you don't want to you know, gain too much weight, you know. So, this is uh, Fruit Bay Express Juice Reader, two locations, West Loop and South Loop. Okay. Um, they have acai bowls. Um, my favorite is a berry breeze. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, the owner always tells me, you got to try something else. <laughs> but today here we have um, two juices. Now, you're supposed to drink six juices a day, like every two hours. When you do the cleanse. You yes, when okay. you do the cleanse. So, okay. normally I cleanse during the week and on the weekend. Okay. Okay. I eat, you know, the meat right. stuff. But this one, one of my favorites, this is a sweet tart. It's like that tropical juice. Okay. Imagine you being back on the beach, you know, oh, Jamaica. Oh, nice. You know, you, you got can like leave that, that one with me then. Yeah, all you leave is, a, you <laughs> know, orange, good. pineapple, apple, and then, you know, turmeric that cleanses yeah, you out. And cleanse you out. And this is more yeah. on the vegetable side. Sounds you good. You know, because our, our culture, we have to get better at cleansing our body. That's right. So this is... um. Heartbeat, you no, know, get that revive, right. get you pumping, get right. your heart, you know, back to its place. Jeremy E. Joyce, thank you very much. Where do people find you? They can find me on Instagram at Black People Eats and Facebook. You can also go to BlackPeopleEats.com. Um, you can sign up, subscribe for our website because the website will be coming soon. So All right. find us at a restaurant near you. All right, Jeremy, have fun eating. All right. <laughs>